Why did we choose to digitize the analog signal? To look at that, let's look deeper into what a digital signal represents. If you use a system where a digit can only be represented by one of two bits, we get what is known as a binary number system. Bits is actually derived from binary digits. The digit in a number can be either 0 or 1. This number system results in the simplest possible digital signals. Now imagine you have n bits to represent each sample of the analog signal. This means that the number would have n digits of the binary nature. Get it? The digitized sample value can then be expressed as this equation. This binary number is written as bn minus 1 bn minus 2 till b naught. We observe that each of the real sample values from the analog signal is now quantized to one of two power n levels. It can take any value from this finite range. The greater the number of bits, the closer the digital word d approximates the magnitude of the analog real sample. For example, for n is equal to 5, the binary number may be 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. So, coming back to our original question, why did we digitize the analog signal? When we quantize a signal, we reduce its resolution. Therefore, many similar sample values in the original analog signal would have the same quantized value. This also means that relatively small changes in the analog signal will not show up in the quantized version. Small changes including noise. Noise greatly affects the performance of an electronic circuit. Digital signals, unlike their analog counterparts, have noise immunity. This is why we digitize them.